Hi there, Phil Oakfield Estate Agents again here with another new instruction. This time I'm in Melbourne Road in Eastbourne. And welcome to the market, a two bedroom older style property. It's perfectly situated for access to local shops and other local uh, amenities. So as we enter the property, we approach a little entrance hall. Off there, it leads through then into a uh, two reception rooms. So we've got a living room to the front with a double glazed window. Dining room is separate with the stairs leading to the first floor landing. And again, subject to the necessary building consent, you could actually knock through and have it a nice through living room dining room. Off the dining room, we've got a fitted kitchen, which is equipped with a range of wall mounted and matching base units leading out into the garden. Up the stairs, we've got two double bedrooms and a bathroom with a separate cloakroom. To the rear is a recently improved um, and attractive enclosed rear garden, which is mainly laid to patio with a selection of raised borders. Have a look at the video, and if you do like to give us a uh, call, we can arrange a viewing for you. So as we enter property via the obscure glazed, double glazed front door, we approach the entrance hall. So perfect space there to the right. Three coats and then above that we've got the meter box. And then it leads nicely in through into the hallway and dining area. Leading into the living room, you see it's a nice size, all neutrally painted. So we've got the double glazed window there to the front a fire recess so if someone wanted to put in a either log burner or gas fire there perfect place to have it got the corner sofa there and the radiator property does benefit from a separate dining room again it's a really good size the double glazed window there to the rear aspect got the stairs leading to the first floor landing door leading through into the kitchen and then that wall there is access obviously to the living room so some people have actually knocked through um, and made it a through living room dining room which again as you'll see quite straightforward to do by removing that wall and again makes it really nice size leading through into the kitchen you'll see it's equipped with a range of wall mounted and matching base units space there and plumbing for your washing machine wall mounted boiler got a built-in electric oven with four in gas hob and the extractor hood over got a double glazed window to the rear and to the side and the door leading out to the rear garden so leading up the stairs see there we've that goes through there into the bathroom with a separate cloakroom further stairs leading up there to the two bedrooms and loft access So leading into bedroom one, which is front facing, you'll see we've got two double glazed windows there to the front. We've got a built-in wardrobe there situated one side of the chimney breast. And again, overall, it's a really nice size room. Again, all nicely presented. Bedroom two is still another good size double. So again, we've got the built-in wardrobe there, double glazed window to the rear. Still ample size for a double bed coming off that wall personally. So leading into the bathroom, you'll see it's got a separate cloakroom as well. So the cloakroom is fitted with a single suite, which is a close cover WC with the obscured double glazed window there to the rear. And the shower room is fitted with a two piece suite, a walk-in shower cubicle there, pedestal wash hand basin, cupboard there, and window to the rear. Rear garden has recently been improved by the current owners, so it's mainly laid to patio there. Selection of raised flower borders, brick built storage shed. And just behind me there, we've got the access leading through into the kitchen, which is right away with this property. So, for the neighbours, so we've got gates either side for again people's for bins and stuff like that. But as you'll see, it's all fully enclosed, it's all really nicely presented. <laughs> 